explore the area down there. Hola, Sevens. Soy Sev Seven y hoy estamos en Barcelona. Vamos a ir a dos lugares muy importantes en esta ciudad. Vamos a ir a Montjuic para coger el teleférico y después vamos a ir a Parkway. Vamos. Dear Sevens, now we are on the way to Montjuic, as I said in our intro in Spanish. If you caught that, but don't worry, there will be subtitles. Now, this is the tunnel that will take us all the way to the funicular to take us to Montjuic. But this funicular will not take us all the way up to the castle. This funicular instead will take us to where we want to go, to the Montjuic area. And this one is part of the... Um, public transport of Barcelona so if you have the transit card you can take it all the way up to go all the way up to the castle you need to buy a separate ticket that will take you all the way there so let's see what this experience has to bring for us This yeah. guys, what a yeah. sensation! We're so lucky we got our own cabin, which is the four of us. Look at that! Look at that view over there, guys! Isn't that beautiful? That is amazing! Look at that! Wow! I did not expect Barcelona to be that big. Wow! I am actually in awe right now, guys. It is super, super beautiful. Oh, there is the park. Look at this! It's so beautiful, and then actually, there's like a loop. Like now we're going to the castle, but if you like go somewhere there or to the left, you're gonna go to the Mirador, which is where you can get a beautiful, beautiful, spectacular view of the city. Look at that. Over there in the distance, I'm gonna zoom in for you guys. That's the Sagrada Familia right there. We hope to get there, hopefully tomorrow. Of course, you guys will see it. If you subscribe, you will see the video then. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button, but look at this beautiful view right here, guys. Amazing. Right behind me over here, let's explore the area down there. Something, <laughs> I really don't know what's down there. It looks like an aesthetic walkway for some really nice pictures. But now we are gonna go down. Wow, look at that view, guys. I am gonna switch the camera right now. Look at this view, guys. Isn't this beautiful? Wow. As much as you capture it on video, it is not the same as in real life. So if you guys can come to visit Barcelona, you definitely should since what you see in the video is not the reality, it's way more beautiful. Yeah. Look at this. Now we are finally at uh, Mondri Castle, but before we enter, let me explain to you guys what is important at this castle, because many of you probably know what is this castle? Why, why am I here and why am I showing you this and why is it so important? So, Mondri itself is a mountain, a little mountain in Barcelona and it is at 177 meters above sea level as you can see down there. Very beautiful view by the way. And uh, some really quick and important points about this is that this castle was built uh, for guarding the city from up from a, from a view so you can like shoot the enemies and see them easier. It was mainly used during the independence war of Spain where for a while in around 1751 then when it was constructed it was uh, under French occupation by the way so this was a part of France and then they fought and then the independence war apparently they won or whatever <laughs> and they got back their land and by the way if I make any mistake with the history please let me know in the comment section below because I am definitely not a historian. <laughs> And yeah, that's pretty much what to know about it. There's probably way more information you can get from Wikipedia about it, but that's just some quick points that I wanted to tell you guys. Look at this. It's very, very beautiful. Look at that. There's a plane out there. You can see out in the ocean. It's actually amazing. This is, uh, I think, Port of Barcelona. Over here, you can see that's like the 
motorway, the highway over there. But this is the commercial port and it goes out to the Mediterranean Sea. But really, it is such a beautiful view. Like the port itself, it's so aesthetically arranged, like you can look at it for hours. And this is the surrounding area that I was showing you guys while I was talking. As I used to say in my previous vlogs, let's get some beauty shots of this spectacular place where you guys can just watch the video with some relaxing music that I'm gonna put and just calm down and really enjoy the scenery through your screen wherever you are in the world. My toxic trick would be that if I fell down from there, I would think I'd survive. Probably not. <laughs> this guy right here looks like a drummer, but if you mess with him, he's gonna get out his gun and he's just gonna shoot you. Like, look at this. <laughs> you imagine you do not want to mess with these medieval people for real. Y'all, if you loved the video so far and you love all this scenery, stay a bit longer into the video so that we can go up there into the castle so that you can see what a castle looked like from around 1751, which is quite a long time ago if you think about it. Dear lovely Slevens, now I am inside the actual castle. As you can see right here and outside is like the internal courtyard, but I need to get up somehow. The real question is, I don't know how. So I hope to get there and get some more beautiful views for you guys. But until then, I am gonna walk in circles in a square. So yeah, found the stairs. Guys, you are not gonna regret staying this long into the video because what I'm about to show you right now is probably the most beautiful view you'll ever see on YouTube today or for the rest of the week. So, brace yourselves. Look at this, guys. Isn't this absolutely beautiful? Wow. I can't say it. Only say wow. And probably that's what you guys are saying right now in the video too. If you love, if you absolutely love this scenery, Leave it in the comment section below. Now that we are done with the Monjui Castle, I hope you guys enjoyed that part of the video. Now uh, I have arrived at Park Guel here in Barcelona, still in Barcelona. It's actually quite the bus ride away from the city center. It took around 45 minutes to get here. It's uh, really easy to get to the park from Plaza Catalunya in the center of the city with line 24. You stay on there for like about 18 stops and then you will get here eventually. There are more complicated ways with the metro, but that is the best way to get here. But anyway, what is so special about this Parque Guel? So I'm just gonna tell you guys quickly right now some key information. Of course, if you want to know more about it, you can go read uh, about it on Wikipedia. This Parque Guel was constructed in between 1900 and uh, 1914, 1916, somewhere around there. Sorry guys, forgot a bit. And it was inaugurated, open to the public around 1926. And it was, of course, designed by the famous Anthony Gaudi with his own, you know, his special type of art. If you are into art, you will definitely recognize his name. And he has really interesting pieces of art and collections. And that's why we came to the park here. There is an entrance fee and they do close at night. <coughs> but now since you guys know where I am and what there is to do, let's have a look around and I'll show you what there is. is yet another beautiful Barcelona scenery as you can see right now it is just amazing you get to see the sea and the city at the same time So guys, that is it for today's vlog. I showed you two very important places in Barcelona. That was Montjuic Castle and Park Guel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was quite nice to make it for you guys and I did enjoy my time while filming. If you liked it, don't forget to leave a like, share and subscribe. 
to Sir Seven to be part of the Sevens. Let's get it. Stay happy and stay safe. Bye, guys.